Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename the global settings in JSON file. Now, when you rename this file, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open saved games folder, open hits to folder. And over here, you can see this file. Make a right click and then you can click on rename and then you can rename it. Once you rename the file, click on yes, and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab over here. You can see enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is on, turn it off and then check. If this is already off, turn it on and then check. Check both off and on. Next step is to avoid using all tabs. So while playing the game, avoid all tabbing. Next step is to run Steam as an administrator. So you can click close Steam, go to Steam, exit, and then type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator and then check. Next step is to try DX12 or DX11 in the launch option. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, make a right click once again, go to properties. This time you can type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to install the game on SSD. Now this has worked. So if the game is installed to hard drive, you can try to install the game to solid state drive and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver, whichever is the latest graphic card driver, uh, that is GeForce Game Read driver, you can click on view and then you can click on download. Click on download. Once the download is complete, you can run the exe file and then click on yes to allow, then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings within. And then click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder. Wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder and then open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, find the game exe file. Here you can see the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, click on the game and then select high performance. You will see your graphic card over here. Now launch the game. Next step is to make changes in the registry. Now for this, you can go to this location. So type in registry editor in Windows search box and then click on registry editor. Click on yes to allow. Now expand H key local machine and then system current control set system then current control set, then control, and then find graphics in the list. Here you can see graphics driver. So select graphics driver. Now on the right hand side, if you see these two entry, TDR delay and TDR level, if you see this, you have to change the value data to zero. Now in my case, I don't have it. So I will just create it. Make a right click set D32 bit value. Name this as TDR delay. T capital T D R delay D capital E L A Y T D R delay and then make a double click set the value data to zero uh, select hexadecimal over here set the value data to zero you can even try decimal so first of all you can try hexadecimal and then uh, once you make the changes restart your computer and then check if that does not work you can even select decimal and then check now the next entry is new D 32 bit value TDR level T capital D R le level L is capital V L E V E L TDR level make a double click again set the value data to zero for hexadecimal and then click on OK. Now once you 
once you're done now restart the computer after the system restart you can launch the game if that does not work you can you, you can try decimal over here and set it to zero for this also you can select decimal and then set it to zero and then check you have to restart the computer and then launch the game if you face any problem if if this is already there on your computer then you have to make sure that value is zero if it's not there you can create these two and then uh, restart the computer and then check if you face any problem you can delete it if you have created if it's already there no need to delete now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then go to the game installation folder and then find the game exe file so make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work uh, make a right click and then go to properties and then this time go to this tab run as administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work again uh, go to properties this time you can select windows 8 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can try even windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes from here hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so i i'm not using any third party antivirus i'm using windows security so if you're using windows security go to privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection and then scroll down and then click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open and now type in control uh, if you check if there are any other exe file go back no that's the only exe file now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case it is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working now do the same thing if you have any third party antivirus like a wasp not on bit defender mcafee allow the game exe file to antivirus program next step is to install visual c++ file now for this you can open this link in a browser uh, sorry you can type in install visual c++ file in google search go to microsoft website and then here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so click on it click on x86 run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed once installed you have to restart the computer make sure that you restart the computer after this after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound go to power options and then select power saver over here so if you see power saver like this select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even go for balanced or you can even try high performance but first of all try power saver launch the game and then check the next step is to enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now open windows settings uh, or you can type in graphic settings in windows search box go to graphic settings click on advanced graphic settings if this is off you can turn on hardware accelerated gp scheduling now launch the game if this is already on then you can turn it off and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer which you are not using disconnected any kind of dongle connected disconnected if you have any external keyboard like key crown keyboard which you are not using disconnected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra dongle connected disconnected disable overlay 
uh, which we have already done. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off overlay. Do not overclock, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Remove the undervolt. If you have undervolted, you can it. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if one thing is working, uninstall the game and then you can install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.